invasive species in New Jersey. Let's learn a little bit about invasive species before we focus in on New Jersey. Here's what you need to know. An invasive species can be an animal, plant, fungus, or even a microbe that's not local to an environment and is transported there from somewhere else. To be considered invasive, these new organisms cause harm to the environment that they end up in. They usually do not have any predators there. And their population size increases pretty quickly. And they even cause native species to die out. So what's the problem? All organisms have a trophic level, or position on the energy pyramid. If a new organism occupies the same level as another, they compete with each other for food, water, and living space. The invasive species causes serious problems in food chains and food webs of an ecosystem. Let's analyze our story. Taking a look at the population changes for the triangle and circle species. As the circle species population began to grow, the triangle species population decreased. This was due to the circle species eating up all their food. Let's take a look at the causes of invasive species. They can be transported by boat, by plane, by cars and trains and buses, and even people's feet. Some organisms can be carried without you even knowing. Many times they're transported by accident, but sometimes it's actually on purpose. Over the years, invasive species have been brought to countries for food, to kill off other unwanted pests in the area, and even for medication. Another surprising use of invasive species is for decoration. Many people have invasive species right in their yard simply because they look pretty there. There are many harmful effects of invasive species on an environment. They may eat the food of the natives, like in our story that we saw. They may become the predators of the native species and eat them instead. They can compete with the native species for water and living space in the area. And invasive species may also change the food web in an ecosystem and have an effect on multiple organisms that lived there before. This can then cause the native species in the area to start to disappear altogether. Invasive species cost the U.S. over $120 billion each year to control and manage them because there have been over 50,000 invasive species introduced over the years. But now, let's get back to New Jersey. New Jersey has over 3,000 native plants and animals because our state is made up of 70% natural habitats, such as agricultural lands, forests, and beaches. There are over 50 invasive species here, and about 100 more with the potential to become invasive. The species cost New Jersey almost $290 million each year. Most invasive species arrived here through our major shipping ports, New York and Philly. A prime example of the damage they've caused is to our oyster industry, destroyed by a pathogen affecting our oyster supplies. And in Union and Middlesex County alone, thousands of trees were lost due to the Asian longhorn beetle. But these are not the only examples. The Japanese wisteria and butterfly bush, although beautiful to have in your yard, are invasive and highly threatening to native plants as they spread out with their massive root and branch systems. The emerald ash borer is a new invasive in New Jersey spotted just in 2014 and harms native ash trees. 
The zebra mussels are not yet in New Jersey, but can appear soon if not under control in neighboring New York and Pennsylvania. The red-eared slider, an adorable turtle, is widespread and competing with our currently endangered native bog turtles. And there's more. The white poplar's large root system, the kudzu overgrowing and blocking light from other plants, nutria and feral hogs digging up wetlands, the mute swan decreasing vegetation for other organisms, the leopard slug threatening agriculture and crops, and the northern snakehead fish eating many native fish species. With all the invasives, what has New Jersey been doing about it? Well, in 2009, the New Jersey Invasive Species Council was formed to come up with management plans. They work with New Jersey Fish and Wildlife, create annual reports to keep track, make flyers, brochures, and reach out to the public to educate them and to get their support. So how do we stop the spread? The first is to prevent new invasive species, which calls for controlling our various ports. The second is to detect the ones that are already there and decide on a plan of action for what to do with them. The third step is to manage and control them, giving status updates periodically. The New Jersey Invasive Species Strike Team is an organization that's helping to do just that. But New Jersey needs help. The strike team needs volunteers of all types to help manage the invasive species problems, and that's where you come in. One way you can help is by checking out the Do Not Plant list. Choose native plants for your landscaping and get rid of the invasive ones. You can just weed them out or cut them down. But why stop at your own house? Help your neighborhood to do the same. The next is to educate yourself by checking out the fact sheets for the invasive species in New Jersey. Pictures and descriptions can help you identify them when you're out in your community. Another way, check out the map of invasive species to find out where many are located and learn about the ones that are specific to your community you live in. You can even join the team in field research or create posters, flyers, even spread the word on social media or simply donate. How about a handy app to help you identify New Jersey invasive species? Download one by the strike team and help them identify and locate invasives in your area. There are so many ways to get involved to help us stop the spread. Created using Powtoon.